first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 530. Solving crimes through DNA. That's what an Indiana lawmaker is trying to do. Representative Pat Bauer wants every single person arrested for a felony to have their DNA put into a national system. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is here. And Suzanne, this is happening across the country. In fact, it's happening in 28 other states. And when a suspect is booked into jail for a felony, they would be required to put their DNA in a database to see if they're connected to any other crimes. Right now, only if they're convicted or if the judge issues a warrant can they get their DNA any sooner. Each person creates a, a unique pattern. A DNA pattern woven together to create an identity. You can look at the actual sequence to try and identify race, ethnicity, physical traits. Those traits helping to solve crimes. So if you have a sample, compare it to whatever's collected at a crime scene. That's what happened in Michigan. 11-year-old Jody Perrick was strangled to death in 2007. DNA collected from 65-year-old Daniel Furlong after he was arrested for a felony matched DNA found on Perrick's body. Her cold case murder solved eight years later. That hope behind state lawmaker B. Pat Bowers proposed legislation. Once you're arrested for a felony, they take your finger, well, and they're arrested, they take your fingerprints. They all then also take your DNA. Then they take those four measures and shoot them through the database throughout the country and see if they match. In 2013, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled it's reasonable and legitimate for police to get DNA samples at the time of a felony arrest. The proposed legislation says that the DNA can be thrown out if the person is acquitted of all charges, the charges are dismissed, or if no charges have been filed within 30 days. But criminal defense attorney Stan Rubel says there are privacy concerns. I think it's a dangerous precedent to set. Um, this is a law that would take potentially innocent people and force them to give up some of their privacy rights. State to do all of this DNA testing, it's, it would go from actually $2 to $4. It's also worth mentioning Representative Bauer tried to push through similar legislation earlier this year. While it didn't pass, leaders did ask for more in-depth study looking into this. All right, so if this passes, when would we see it take effect? It's likely that there's going to be a committee-level hearing and then also a hearing coming up in January. And then if it passes, it'll eventually take effect in July. Okay, Suzanne, thank you.